Day morning. six in the Krüger, and we are again at Malelane Gate. Yes. Uh, again at 4 a.m. in the morning, we were in the queue, and then we just slept in the car another hour. They opened the gate at six, and this is the queue. So we are really lucky we were the third car this morning. It was quick. We drove in, we got our day ticket and here we go. <laughs> Today we plan to be in the area of Berchendal, Afsal and yeah, in the afternoon we will see. The region we were driving in today around Malelan Gate and Berchendal is very famous for having a high density of wildlife. So we were thinking, would it be possible to find the big five in one day? I mean, if not here, where else? Well, check out the video and stay with us till the end to find it out if we manage to do so. And just having this thought, Half a minute later, we were surprised by our first sighting. It was one of the big five, two rhinos. That's how to start the day. <laughs> A rhino sighting, the mom with her baby. And they just made the poo on the side of the road and I can't tell you how this stinks. <laughs> it, you try to make pictures and it just burns in your eyes, in your nose. <laughs> Good morning! <laughs> So we don't know where to go, but I think we have to drive into the bush because the road is blocked. Elis did their work. It was less than one kilometer away from the first rhino sighting that again we found two rhinos. What an amazing start of the day.
nice thing, the park is packed. The park is closed in the afternoon because of too many visitors and we have these rhinos for ourselves or with one more car. That's amazing. It's all about choosing the right track. <laughs> Challenge, you don't know the right track before. We put a lot of effort in all of our videos, so if you really enjoy them, why not support us on our Patreon site? I will link it up here. We have some amazing advantages for our patrons, like you are the first one who see the videos, you get some very nice exclusive pictures, and you get a huge discount if you want to stay in our Casa Olamunda. This area we are just driving through is called Renoster Kopjes. It's close to Skukuza rest camp. But we will not go to Skukuza today. We go further south again. Uh, we had to drive that far up because some roads are closed to, due to the damage the water did in February here. So yeah, now it's off to Afsal and Berghendal. We did not have breakfast yet and already saw three of the big five. After the rhino and the leopard, now it was buffaloes. They were hidden in the bushes, but still we saw them. in Afsa. We wanted to have a picnic to enjoy our breakfast there and it was so packed full there was not even a parking spot left so we continue further on to Berchendal and yeah hope 
to have a nice spot there. Bergendal, so now we will check out the picnic area to have some breakfast and then the coffee. So we are in Bergendal in the rest camp and we just made our picnic overlooking the dam they have here with a crocodile about four meters long and some hippos. They didn't show up so so far we haven't filmed. But now we sit in the restaurant, we'll have a coffee and just wait till it's a bit cooler to continue our game drive and we will show you around camp. <laughs> Marcus trying to spot the crocodile, which is supposed to be four meters, someone told me. That is the nice restaurant in the camp. And we continue walking. There's a nice breeze and a lot of shade. It's pretty nice. And it's all fenced, so no danger of any animals coming here. But it, in general, the camp looks quite old. It's well kept, but it's old and it's very big. But yeah, it's pretty nice. I think visiting during the day, you should do that once. But probably I think we will prefer to stay in Lower Sabi rest camp. Here you can walk directly on the fence. So now imagine a lion walking past or a leopard. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> For the moment, nothing. <laughs> the bungalows here look pretty nice. In the shade, with a nice terrace. Beautiful. You can either camp here or rent a cottage or a bungalow. Nice! That is the cinema. <laughs> and each camp has a shop, quite a big one. And mostly close to the shop you have the sighting board where you can tell others where you have seen the animals. And yeah. What an amazing loop we do at the moment around Bergendal rest camp. Super beautiful scenery with the mountains and you go up and down with the car and look at that. Every single day we saw a lot of elephants, but today it was just one elephant. Nevertheless, it's our number four of the Big Five. Check! Today Big Five is completed.
is one and behind in the bush there are three or four more. It's an amazing drive. After having seen the Big Five in one day, we found a lot of warthogs grazing, which was quite nice and they were close to the car. But another highlight was this giraffe, who had some itchy parts on her body and scratched wherever she could. It was very funny to observe her.
don't miss Steilberg Pass. It's really a beautiful drive yes. and it has amazing views. Wildlife wise, it's not so busy so far, but the views are great. The third rhino spotting of the day. Amazing.